All right, what we're doing in this video is attaching a cable to the rod. So basically very, very, very simple, but I've seen people do it crazy. What you wanna basically do is the biggest point of advice is whichever path you're going, if you're going this way, you wanna make sure that you have basically like an arrow. So you wanna attach the cables at the back of your rod. Now, typically I don't like to have the threaded rod, the threaded part to go first because it's always going to stick. I just learned this weekend that a senior guy does it like that. Now, as you can see, that's pretty much secure. And what we always do is you can do it multiple ways, but what am I doing? I am leaving an end. I'm being a friend, leaving an end, making sure that it's very accessible to take it off. Now, me personally, Paul Wallace, I like to have a little tab. That's not gonna screw up anything, that's gonna be fine. Other people have different methods, but you basically wanna be able to identify how to get it off. Now, you really don't need to get it off, but whatever. So, why I have your attention, when you're pulling wire, different locations, say if it's 50 feet, you don't have to rerun another thing. You could put a string line on there or anything like that. But say if you're saying, if you're doing more cables, you wanna add three. Say one wire is going 100 feet and these three wires are going 50 feet. So instead of rerunning another pole, you can attach it to anything. You can attach it to string, you can attach it to this. But I just wanna show you something here is, stagger it. You don't wanna have a big clump like this. You don't wanna do that. Now, typically, a lot of times when we're uh, doing cable runs, we're pulling like 10 wires at a time. I hear a lot of knuckleheads say, oh, I pulled 30 cables. Whatever. And we'll probably get a lot of comments on YouTube and stuff like that. So again, you can always attach to the cabling. And once you are attaching the cabling, you want to stagger it and you want to always protect the head. That head is junky. And when you're done, you can either do a tail like that, and that's fine. I like it, I won't yell at you on site. And what that basically is, is leave a friend, be a friend, leave an end, and that's in our videos. Now, personally, I don't like it like that. I think it's junky. I just take a little bit and make a tab. So again, that's staggering the cable, and once you're pulling a wire, you can attach it or you can also attach it to the string. So if you already have a string line run, and we've already done an example in another video, all you gotta do is, when you're just doing this, you don't have to cut the string or anything like that. You make a knot, make another knot. And there you go, you have it. And then with a little bit of pressure, I'm doing this on the ground so I don't have the best pressure. I'll just go like that. And we can thank our brand ambassador, Jake. He's filming us today. Can you say hi, Jake? Hello. Wow. He sounds so crazy to be involved in this. So that's basically it. I just taped it and I kind of didn't leave a friend. But again, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You could run your cable string. You can attach it to the actual rod. You can attach it to the bundling. The biggest key that I like to show you here is protect the head. Nothing is going to get through there. It's going to be a smooth transition. Thanks very much for watching our YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. And we'd like to hear any comments that you might have. Have a great day.